At first we worried that the quality wouldn't be up to par and we would not have enough contestants register for the event. But we had more interest than we could have ever imagined. In this video, I will show you how to solve the tasks present within the challenge with Belka X. While in the official write-up, one can find out how to solve all tasks with or without BelkaSoft. Okay, so the first challenge is baby, uh, complexity, and name. So it says, what is the full name of the laptop owner? We'll go back to Belkasoft. And the easiest way to do this is to look in the mailbox uh, for Privacy Matrix and Scent and see who it was from. And here we see a Nick Gosh. And that will be your flag. You can also check it with the Windows uh, username uh, right here. Okay, and the second challenge is baby complexity uh, with the address. Uh, what is the full address of the company's office? And we can look at this by going back into Belkasoft, clicking on the mail artifact again, going to the IMAP artifacts, selecting inbox, and here you'll see that you see at privacymatrix.com. Select the headers tab at the bottom and verify that privacymatrix.com and you can copy that into a web browser and this is the company website. A quick view of the website will show you the company's headquarter address. Copy and paste that and that is your flag. Okay, the third challenge is warm up, uh, first shot. So it says, on the 16th, security got a signal of unauthorized attempts, but when did the suspect first show interest in these documents? Let's go into Belkasoft. We'll go to the overview tab. We'll go into the mail artifacts again, and we can sort by time here, so we can kind of get an idea of when these technical documents were first searched for. So we'll scroll down and the first time we see it is November 5th, 2020 at 7.21 p.m. And copy and paste that and that is your flag. Okay, challenge four is warm up and witness. What three employees should be asked questions about unauthorized requests from the suspect? So let's go into Belkasoft. Again, we'll remain in the overview, mails artifact, uh, from the last challenge where we saw the technical documents right here. You can see who sent correspondence with Annette Gosh regarding the technical documents, be John Finney, Noel Johnson, and Rachel Corbin. And those are your flags. Challenge 5, complexity of baby, it's docs. What is the SHA-256 hash of the product documentation obtained? Okay, so we'll go into Belkasoft, select documents. We'll go to the gallery view, right click, add or remove filters and you can simply select PDF. It's one of the more common documents so we'll filter for PDF, switch to grid view and you'll notice all of them have names except for one. This is because it was a scanned document. So we select it and SHA-256 is right here and that is your flag. Okay, challenge six, uh, complexity of tricky, it's leaker. What employee has actually provided the suspect with the product documentation? Let's hop into Belkasoft. Again, we're in the same spot as the last challenge. Uh, we see the document there. Uh, if we look down, we're on the pages tab. Um, we'll click this. Okay, it's a scanned document. 
Okay, and then we see some black boxes. Let's check that out. Okay, so it looks like that's covering up some information, but it's not an issue. Let's go to the Embedded Files tab. Okay, we'll go back to the same document. And it was, it was just a black box covering the information that we needed. So, uh, here's your flag. Challenge seven, source code, complexity of warmup. What URL did the suspect manage to obtain the product source code from? Okay, so within Belkasoft here, uh, you see that we are going to the overview tab and if he obtained it, he probably downloaded it. So let's check the downloads folder. CS delete, um, some tar gunzit file. Okay, so here's a URL. Okay, and it looks like this is the file and the URL that he received it from. So here's your flag. We deliberately left a couple of challenges out not to be solved entirely with Belka X. We did this to allow you to use prior knowledge or research to complete the tasks. As digital forensic examiners, we know that you need to have tools, but also an understanding of how to research artifacts and dig deeper as necessary. Check out how you can solve these next few tasks with the aid of Velcasoft. Alright, challenge 8, complexity of hard. This is email. What email address did the suspect's backdoor code send reports to? Okay, so let's go into Velcasoft. We'll go to the file system viewer, users, init gosh add stressor. We're going to go ahead and copy that entire folder and copy it into a Linux VM, but let's go to the git directory, refs, remote, origin, and these are your branches. So you'll see here that the whip has this information, and this is the link to the last commit of the branch. So let's copy this, and we will also copy the add stressor folder again to this VM, which I have already done. We'll CD to the desktop where I have the add stressor folder saved. CD into add stressor. And we do a git checkout for the link that we copied from Belkasoft with a tech tech force. So we'll go ahead and play that. And it says that we've switched to this head. So let's do a diff on the head. And we have a output here. And that's the last commit the backdoor had just added. So let's copy everything from echo all the way to tack D, copy selection. And we'll paste it here. Go ahead and hit enter. And then we get new output. Uh, set SID bash tax C. So we'll copy everything from there to the end. And paste it. Okay, so from here uh, we will do an echo uh, from the dollar sign. Okay, and there's the final output that we need. And you'll see here we have a alert at protonmail.com. And that is your flag. Okay, challenge nine is tricky uh, and it's package. What is the SHA-256 hash of the file that was exfiltrated? Okay, it's going to Belkasoft. 
Uh, we'll easily go into recently accessed documents and we'll see photos.7zip. Now if you look anywhere else on the image, uh, this file is not present. Uh, but we have seen sdelete, so it's possible it's deleted. So the only way to see if we can find it is we'll go here and select the hyperfill.sys within the file system viewer. Go to the hex viewer tab and we'll do a search for photos.7zip. Okay. All right, and we see it here. And right next to it is something called a non-files and then a URL right below it. Uh, we see an A and an F. Uh, let's assume that it's a non-files and then the back end of a URL. So let's copy this. Okay, and let's go to our Linux VM, open up a web browser. And we can do a search for HTTPS, anonfiles.com. And then with the random characters at the back that we copied out of Belkasoft. And we have a download site. Let's right click uh, this download link and select open link a new tab and it should prompt you to download okay there it is so let's save the file let's go back to our desktop open up a terminal let's change directory to our downloads folder do an ls and we see photos.7zip so let's to get the hash let's just do a SHA-256 sum of photos.7zip and there's your flag Okay, challenge 10, complexity hard wallet. What is the suspect's cryptocurrency address they intended to get reward paid to? Okay, so let's go into Belkasoft. We'll go at the file system viewer. And we'll check out the NTFS volume, uh, users, init gosh, app data, roaming, select Microsoft Windows and PowerShell so in here uh, you'll see PS read line uh, within it there's a console host history so a history of commands ran from PowerShell Okay, looking through here, we got git host, set execution policy, bunch of git commands, and there it is. So we have the XRAI command uh, and a password. So let's copy this password. And we will jump into our Linux virtual machine. So we open up a term terminal. We will go to our downloads folder where photos.7zip is. Let's go ahead and do a p7zip tech d uh, photo 7zip and it'll ask for a password. And this is where we will paste our selection. And this is just asking if I want to rename files because I've already decompressed the folder once. 
So I'd do it for all, and then I'll do another ls on the directory, and I'll see I have an instructions.txt as well as the file of suspicion. So let's look in the instructions.txt uh, with a vim editor. Inside the vim editor, I see the Monero address for the, the Bitcoin wallet. And you copy and paste that, and that is your flag. All right, final challenge, challenge 11 is hard, it's recipient. It's gonna ask us to find two phone numbers associated with the suspected XFIL. Okay, let's hop into Belkasoft, and we will go to the Hyperfill uh, artifacts under structure, go to Chrome, URLs, and we'll just do a search for WhatsApp because we see a lots of WhatsApp within here. Okay, we will scroll through here, see if anything pops out just a lot of whatsapp what activity so from here let's go ahead and jump to our file system um, instead of searching for whatsapp because it'll probably bring a lot of a uh, lot of hits up let's go ahead and search for um, the last part of the URL uh, where we pulled down the photos.7zip. Okay, wait for some hits. All right. So that one doesn't really look like what we need. Let's look again. Okay, we also see here, uh, here it is. So it looks like somebody was sent the link. Uh, so let's do a search for here it is. Okay. Okay, well here's a, uh, a WhatsApp phone number. So let's go ahead and copy the number that's associated. And we will do a search for the number. Okay, well there it is. Doesn't look like that's the hit we need, but I do see it at c.us. So let's do uh, that search instead. And there is our final flag. We hope you enjoyed the Belka CTF its tasks, and solutions. Thank you to all participants for making this a successful and exciting CTF. We'd like to invite you to all upcoming Belka CTFs. Keep an eye on our Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook, as well as our webpage, belkasoft.com, for information on upcoming events.